Just come off stage at Big Day Out 2012. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm quite, I'm pretty, uh, pretty exhausted. Um, but I think, um, you know, I'll, I'll um, pipe up in a bit. Uh, really good though. It does, it does feel like a pretty good uh, experience to play here. So is it chill time now or party time? Um, yeah, take a little bit of time to chill out, and then yeah, you'll be seeing me um, swinging off the, the rafters in a bit. <laughs> You're gonna get on it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Amazing. Hey, um, congratulations for releasing an awesome album last year, oh, Design Desire. I personally loved it and I have to say, huge Entourage fan. When I saw your <laughs> song at the end of it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Abby. <laughs> how, how does it feel to have a song like one of your songs in such a huge series. It was a huge honour, like it, it really was. When we got the the email from the producers um, over there, it must have been about three in the morning and I just was still up and I kind of found it and sort of thought, is this a little bit of a joke, you know? Um, so it was kind of surreal and, you know, um, very exciting. It's a, it's a great show and, um, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of reach outside of, you know, your home, home country as well. Exactly. So uh, speaking of a reach outside of Australia, is the US a market that you're interested in cracking? Are you going to focus a lot of your time and energy on the um, US? Uh, yeah, hopefully if they'll have us, we'll definitely go there, you know. Um, a release there would be great. So we, um, we just like to travel a lot and we've got a really good uh, click as a band, so travelling has been quite easy. So, um, you know, it would be great to go overseas with them, definitely. So who makes up your band? Uh, well, there's my brother, KT Rumble, who I've played with since I was about uh, 11. Um, so we've been, you know, um, playing together for, gosh, it must be like 15 years now. Um, you know, so I've got this kind of solid um, partnership with him. Uh, and then we've got these two new players, uh, Sam Ford, who's my producer, uh, who produced Design Desire, uh, plays bass for us. And, um, Al Ward is our drummer and they both played in a band called The Silence which is a really um, like a kind of a seminal psychedelic Perth band um, who you know they make beautiful music so I'm quite lucky to have them really. Yeah so it's all Perthies. All band. Perthies yeah. Because I guess to a lot of people at Big Day Out you're a relatively new face but you you know Abby May as we could call it is probably the latest incarnation of what's well, been a long illustrious career. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. I've been in bands since I was, I guess, 13. Um, and, you know, I used to play in a band called The Fars, which was like a really heavy rock and roll band. And then um, about maybe five years ago, I started doing my own thing. Yeah. Um, but this lineup that we're playing with now is only about six months old. Yeah. There's uh, lots of chops and changes, you know. It's a funny old roller coaster ride. So, we are here at Big Day Out, and as I was saying, it is kind of dominated by dudes, but it also is traditionally dominated by rock and roll. As a rock and roll fan and, and purveyor and someone who's played Big Day Out before, do you notice a bit of a lineup change happening, especially this year with someone like Kanye West headlining? Yeah, well, I mean, they had also like a few years ago when they had Björk play, and you know, I think Big Day Out does try. I mean, it's traditionally, uh, you know, um, dominated by rock and roll, but they also try to mix it up a bit, I think. Um, I'm not sure if this year is more than more than other years, but I think that's a very clever clever thing to do because it sort of, it keeps a lot of people interested, but it also, um, you know, perhaps a rock and roll fan might not have heard of, you know, it's pretty hard to imagine someone hasn't heard of Kanye West, but, you know, um, yeah. I think it's oh, cool. you surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a fun place to come to, but you can also learn quite a bit here, you know, by seeing bands that maybe you would never have heard of, you know. Yeah. So um, I think it is traditionally uh, quite a, a strong rock and roll presence, but um, usually they have one or two uh, outsiders in there, you know. Have you been it. the outsider before? Have you just played like a crazy festival or gig where you're like, what? what yeah, do I do? we um, we played, a, I can't remember the name of the festival, it was in country Victoria. And um, I think people had thought that I was in like a singer songwriter type because of the name of the an project. Acoustic guitar, yeah, and a floral so we, dress. We got booked for like an acoustic guitar floral dress type festival wow. and we like blew their heads off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we played pretty loud, fast rock and roll and you know it, they didn't like it. But so we felt a bit um a bit <laughs> a bit of an outsider then. But that's fine, you know. We we got paid and we got drunk, so and did you <laughs> win them over? No. No, we <laughs> definitely <it>. didn't. <laughs> So um, tell me, Abby, what does 2012 have coming at it from you this year? Um, okay, well, I'm writing and recording a, 
currently an album, my set, next album called Kiss My Apocalypse, which we're thinking about releasing on, I think it's December 12, when the Mayans wow. said the world was going to end. Yes, It's not actually, perfect. it's about the death of love, the, the record is about that, so, but we sort of thought in a more kind of hippie sense, that's kind of what they're talking about, the end of the world, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a piss take, but it's also... Um, well, you know, you can't... I think rock and roll needs to have wisdom in it, you know, otherwise it's just like tight pants and bad hair, you know, like... Um, a bit of wisdom, a bit of sense of humour. Um, so we've got Kiss My Apocalypse coming out with Shabia sometime this year, hopefully yeah. before the world ends, at least. Pumping it out. <laughs> Amazing, cool. Well, thank you for joining us on the AU oh, review today, Abby. Hope you have uh, an awesome night. Thank you. you too.